Now, you might be saying to yourself, Whoa, pump the brakes. This video is blurry and gross. And you might ask, Don't these blocky kids look different from Miss Bliss's regular class? And you may ask yourself, Well, you may recall back in the first episode of the Saved by the Bell Deep Dive, I noted that the pilot for Good Morning Miss Bliss was directed by a Peter Boners and commented that I'd do a video on the pilot in the future. Well, we are just over halfway through the Good Morning Miss Bliss season, and now seems like a good time to look at what might have been and kind of cleanse our palate a bit. The first thing of note in this title sequence is that we seem to be getting depictions of Miss Bliss's life up to becoming a teacher. Did she die somewhere along the way? It should also be noted that the music was done by the same duo that did the Disney Channel version of the show, Charles Fox and Mark Mueller. Looking back, it's plain to see The dream was always here Way to be versatile, guys. And here's where we see Peter Boners, who could have just been named Woody Johnson's, or Dick Stiffy's, or Willie Pitch Tents, or Mark McGrath. And if you needed another reminder that this show was made for NBC Primetime, Here's Georgie. I love students with enthusiasm, Georgie. Uh, and I love teachers with great legs. <laughs> That's right. The Good Morning Miss Bliss pilot aired right before Golden Girls. And it should be pretty obvious from this shot alone that we aren't using the Disney set of the school. We also don't have the same students. Since this version of the show did not get picked up, we don't need to go into detail about the young actors. They're just a bunch of nobodies. Except for maybe Matt Shackman, who played Georgie and went on to direct for some iconic shows like House, Game of Thrones, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and WandaVision. And sure, Jaleel White, who played Bobby, went on to portray one of the most iconic characters of the 90s, as well as voice one of the most iconic cartoon characters of the 90s. And then there's Jonathan Brandis, who played Michael, who later had roles on It!, Ladybugs, Sequest 2032, and Saved by the Bell the College Years. Hey, that's the bookend to this show. Full circle! And holy farts, another one? Brian Austin Green, ladies and gentlemen, who played Adam. And he's also notable for his roles in Knott's Landing, Beverly Hills 90210, Desperate Housewives, and was once married to this smoke show. And he was also in that College Years episode? Full Circle Part 2! Anybody else rocket to fame? Anyone? You voiced Littlefoot in The Land Before Time? Good enough. Alright, so Miss Bliss has a brand new class. And everyone's excited to be in Miss Bliss's class. I got married. Anyway, I'm now Mrs. Davis. But at school for you, I'm still Miss Bliss. Uh, the show is called Good Morning Miss Bliss, not Good Morning Miss Davis. Why do this in the first episode? The students don't need any continuity. This is their first day in your class. Michael shows up and immediately has an attitude problem. Foot up on a chair, popping his gum, refusing to accept help like he's 20 years old. And, oh, balls. The pilot has a Tina Palladrino who teaches drama and art. This exchange is pointless, but we do learn that Miss Bliss has always been invested in saving the whales, as is noted in episode 7. In the administrative office, we have a secretary who is neither old and white, nor young and black. And she also has lines. And we also meet Mr. Belding, who does not play a big role in the pilot. You won't believe it, but someone's already written nasty things about me in the boys' bathroom. Mr. Belding, sir. What's going on in here? We were just cleaning off the graffiti. And you expect me to believe that? It was about you. Well, keep up the good work, boys. Uh, I had 
this new transfer student who I think has some emotional problems. And I thought no, I should really... Oh, please, find please. The day of the school year isn't even half over with. Look, you're, you're a wonderful teacher. Maybe the best. Do us both a favor. Teach. Just, just teach. Don't get involved. Well, I can't accept that. Deke needs help, and I won't just sit around and do nothing. Miss Bliss, in all my years as a principal, I never knew a teacher who was more loved than you. But nobody can touch them all. Uh, yeah, that's our building. At Miss Bliss's house, her new husband is continuing to move stuff in. Notice that the pilot's home sets look very similar to the series sets. Michael shows up, and new husband learns the same lesson as old Brian. When the bell rings for the start of the school year, my life is not my own anymore. Work doesn't stop at three o'clock. My students drop in all the time. It's the next day. I didn't hear you get up. I didn't hear you come to bed either. You know, if we're going to have any love life at all, you better make a little more noise. <laughs> Said all men everywhere. Am I right? Guys? Am I, am I right? We learn with the new husband that Miss Bliss was up all night talking to Michael about his dying brother. Oh, that's why he was acting out. Hey, baby. Miss Bliss and Michael continue their conversation, and she eventually leaves for school. In the end, Michael is able to come to grips with his brother's prognosis. Georgie is able to perv on Miss Bliss just a touch more. But when I saw this lady's great legs and these other parts, I didn't care that she was older than me. And other parts. And then this line happens. The Beastie Boys are a group. You were specifically told to write about one person. You're related to Teddy Ruxpin. Are you related to Teddy Ruxpin? What does that even mean? New husband shows up and delivers a frog, an apple, and a... Hey, baby. Why are you holding it that way, bro? Oh yeah, prime time! I'll be honest, I expected this blurry, failed pilot to be bad. I mean, there's got to be a reason it can only be found on YouTube, right? But it wasn't. It was a decent attempt at a show that could have been an interesting watch had it been picked up by NBC. When NBC head Brandon Tartikoff sent the show to the Disney Channel, it got watered down a bit, but you can still see some of the core elements in the Disney version. I wonder how many more elements we may find in the final six episodes of Good Morning, Miss Bliss. You know, if we're going to have any love life at all, you better make a little more noise. 